In this video, we're going to look at setting up the M221 PLC so that we can read the real-time clock data from a HMI, and we're also going to set it up so that we can write to the HMI in the, the real-time clock from the HMI. So if we look at the help files of the M221, we see that there's system words for the real-time clock. These system words are read-only normally. If we set system bit 50 to a 1, it allows these variables to be read-write so that we can change them in the PLC. And then when we change it back to a 0, it takes what it is and, and it forces it into the PLC clock. So in our example here, we're going to come, I created two subroutines. Subroutine 0 is basically going to be coming here to get the real-time clock and put it into memory words so you can actually read it in the HMI. Subroutine 1 is going to be setting system bit 50 here so that you put them into read-write and the HMI can change the data. And if I take a look at the variables I created in the PLC, I created some memory words that the HMI can actually read-write to. And I'm going to come right now to the subroutine for getting the data. The first thing that we have to do is because the system words are in binary coded decimal, I have to come in and I have to extract the information getting into the proper memory words. So if I look at system word 51 here, it contains both hours and minutes. So in order to get that out, the first thing I do is I take that system word 51 and I shift it right by 8 bits to clear it out, put it in memory word 1, and then I do a BCD to integer conversion on that memory, memory word 1, and that leaves hours in an integer format um, in memory word 1. This is an operate block that allows us to do the structure text move. And then the next thing I have to do is the minutes is already in the low word of system word 51, so we simply AND system word 51 with uh, the low byte being all ones to get rid of the hours of it and we stuff that in memory word 2 and then we just do a BCD to integer conversion so now in memory word 2 you see that the minutes is in there and we repeat the process extracting the month and the day from memory word 3 and memory word 0 and it's easy on the years because we're simply doing system word 53 converting the BCD to integer to go into memory word 4. So now the PLC can, or the HMI, can read that. So I simply need to set up variables in the HMI that are integers that read the appropriate registers, and I'm all set for reading it. If I want to set the real-time clock, the first thing I have to do is set system bit 50, so it changes the system words to read-write, and then I have to go backwards in the process. So if I look at this, I'm looking now at system word or I'm changing memory word 2 and I got to put it into the system word. So I go integer to BCD memory word 2 it comes into system word 51 and then we have that'll fill the low byte portion of it and then to get the high byte I have to have a little scrap register here where I take the integer to byte memory word 1 which is the minutes put it into uh, BCD format in a scrap memory word 6 then I'm going to shift that left to go into the high order byte and then I OR the two together and that'll give the system word 51, it'll be BCD format with the minutes and the um, hours stuffed inside of it. And we repeat that process for the month day and again the year is easy, we simply take memory word 4 and we integer to BCD stuff it in system word 53. When I toggle system bit 50 back off, that will stuff it into the PLC register to change it. That's how you change the real-time clock and read it in M221 PLC. 